Ladies and gentlemen, there is nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are controlling this transmission. If we wish to make it louder, we will bring up the volume. If we wish to make it softer, we will tune it to a whisper. We control the horizontal, and we control the vertical. For the next few minutes, sit quietly, and we will control all that you see and hear. We are about to open your mind to the Arizal, the Ari Hakadosh. Different levels of pious people. It is possible that the pious will receive someone else's reward, because not all pious people are alike. Some are extremely righteous, while others are not absolutely pious. Some worship Hashem out of love, while others, due to fear, the pious person who is greater than others in humility and fear of Hashem takes his fellow's reward. As our sages say, why is there smoke in the canopy of paradise? Each pious person is burned by envy of his neighbor. When a pious person sees his fellow's face shining more than his own, he's embarrassed. Exemptions from Reincarnation A person who studies Torah and gives pleasure to his Creator because he learns for the sake of Shemayim, for the sake of Hashem, in order to observe and to perform, will find rest on his passing and will not be reincarnated. The land of Israel is under Hashem's direct control. Hashem abolished the idea of the nations and changed their plans. Hashem separated the land of Israel from the rest of the world because each country has an angel up above. The holy land has no angel. However, as it says, a land which Hashem inquires about, also Israel, is Hashem's portion. And therefore, even if the seventy angels made a decree against Israel, Hashem abolishes their decree. Good deeds of the wicked. To the wicked, Hashem says, Why do you want to study my laws? All good deeds performed by a wicked person, and the Torah he studies, give more strength to the Sitra'ach. If he engages in tshuva, upon presenting his tshuva to Hashem, if this is a true tshuva, l'shem shemayim, for the glory of Hashem, for the glory of the heavens, he takes out his strength and returns it to the holy forces. This is why tshuva is so loved by Hashem. When tshuva is done, a true, genuine, honest tshuva, all your sins will turn into mitzvah. The first temple was built by converts. Shlomo HaMelech, King Solomon, did not allow Jewish workers to build the temple, but used converts. It could therefore be destroyed. This is in contrast to Moshe Rabbeinu, when he built the tabernacle, did not accept donations from the Erev Rav, but only from Israel. This is why the verse says, And Moshe gathered Israel. Shlomo HaMelech converted Paro's daughter, and as a result, the angel Gavriel erected the city of Rome, which caused the destruction of Jerusalem. This is continuing until Hashem will have mercy on us and remove the spirit of impurity from our land. And we are remaining in exile, and the temple remains destroyed. Why the Israelites were enslaved in Egypt When the snake contaminated Chava The main damage happened in Mitzrayim, which is the most sinful country in the world. This is why the Israelites were enslaved there, and the Shekinah was also exiled there, in order to elevate the holy sparks that were there. This is why Hashem Himself had to go down to Mitzrayim, to take out their holy sparks, because even an angel would have been contaminated there. This is why the Torah mandated never ever return to Egypt after the repair has been accomplished. The Day of Passing the separation that a person performs during his lifetime is with his good deeds, his gmilut chasidim, after his passing. The soul has no material garment, no body, and his soul is able to collect many holy sparks according to the power he has accumulated. He can then amend more than he did during his lifetime. This is why the pious become greater when they die. This is why Hashem allows the pious to pass through Gainon in order to extract and elevate their holy sparks, and all the more so 
with the souls of the wicked. The difference between Sadaka and other mitzvot. His charity stands forever. All the mitzvot that a person carries out are written on his forehead with a single letter specifically for that mitzvah, and that letter is a light on his forehead. This is only when he is actually carrying out the mitzvah, and it disappears immediately afterwards. The letter on his forehead, when he gives charity, remains there for an entire week and does not disappear like the letters for the other mitzvot. Enoch's High Spiritual Level We have said that when Adam Rishon sinned, he lost his divine light. He lost the Shkinah, and it was given to Enoch. Adam was now dressed in filthy garments, but when Enoch followed the correct way, he merited the Shkinah. It was decreed that Adam would die, but not Enoch, and he became a great angel. How Yitro Converted When Moshe killed the Egyptian and amended Chain's bad fragment, his spirit entered Yitro, who had been an idol-worshipping priest, who converted and renegated idolatry, both on the same day. Moshe escaped from Paro and went to Midian, and found Yitro, who renegated idolatry and converted on the same day, that Moshe killed the Egyptian, and that Chain began his correction. All this was one single event caused by Moshe. The reincarnation of Chavel. Know that Chavel's bad fragment was reincarnated in Enoch, the son of Seth, who worshipped idols. Noach was Moshe Rabbeinu. Know that Noach was Moshe. He refused to pray for his generation and caused the flood to happen. The waters were therefore called Noach's waters. He nevertheless merited that the flood was postponed for 120 years in the hope that the people would repent. Moshe rectified Noach's sin and prayed for the people by saying, If you do not forgive them, erase me from your book. This was similar to what happened in the flood, that humankind was virtually wiped out. Moshe prayed throughout his days that his generation would succeed in making amends for Noach's sin. The Seed of Yitzhak Avraham was informed that Yitzhak would be his successor. Hashem wanted that the soul of the Mashiach, which was also hidden from before creation, as it says in the verse, Hashem's spirit was hovering over the water, referring to the spirit of the Mashiach, should be visible and found. It was lost in Sodom. As it says, I found my servant David. And our sages said that he was inside Lot, Avraham's nephew. Therefore, all three angels must have come together to Avraham to destroy Sodom so Lot could flee and hide in a cave, and there Hashem prepared wine for him, so that David the Mashiach would come. Just as Itzak had come from Avraham, so too the Mashiach will emerge from Lot. Similar to the fact that Itzak was born when Avraham and Sarah were old, so too the Mashiach will come late. The entire creation was made for the sake of Israel. When Ishmael was born, Avraham was 86 years old and uncircumcised, and when Itzak was born, Avraham was aged a hundred, and Sarah was ninety years old. Before the sin, Chava was called Chaya, and after the sin, she was called Chava, and she became Adam's helpmate. The word Avraham is composed by two different words, Bar Miva, one hundred years old, referring to the age when Itzak was born. The Kidnapping of Sarah And Paro kidnapped Sarah. Know that when Sarah was taken in the land of the Philistines by Abmelch, he did not touch her, and Hashem stopped all members of his household from becoming pregnant, our sages say. They could not even attend to their needs until Avraham prayed for them. Avamelech then gave him cattle and sheep, slaves and maids, and returned him to Sarah. The pious received more than was taken from them. So it will be as well in the future redemption.